Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yu Yan. I am so excited for this video and as you can tell from the title, I am going to be talking all things about my hair, how I curl it, how I do the curtain bangs, the cut, the color, the products that I use. So I've made something similar before in the past but definitely need to update you guys and kind of show you how I've been curling my hair and how I've been curling the curtain bangs and all that and specifically what I asked for in the salon. Also, I'm just putting it out there that I am not a hair specialist. This is it's just based on my own personal experiences what I like to do with my hair and what I like to use with my hair so definitely just keep that in mind so if you're interested in anything about my hair or curtain bangs or anything like that then let's just get right into it okay so first off I just want to talk about the color and the cut and everything so my hair has been kind of a journey it was very very damaged before about four or five years ago I got um, ombre and you know with ombre they basically just really bleach the bottom half of your hair and I don't know why but I just continuously got that for like two years so the bottom half of my hair was super damaged I would always get split and so from there I found my hairstylist Bianca she is amazing she now owns her own salon in Lower East Side I'll link her Instagram and handle and everything down below in the description box um, so definitely check her out so she cuts my hair she colors my hair and she's just so great so basically what I get now is a foliage it is similar to balayage I believe but what she does is she uses foils to lighten everything so all of the lighter pieces those are just lightened by foil and personally I love the look of this just because I feel like it blends very well together and it just looks a lot more natural and I asked for ashy neutral blonde pieces so that is basically the color that I get so I would suggest that if you're getting your hair color going to hair salon just always show the hair colorist a picture I feel like that is always the safest way you can even show them this video if you want something similar to mine specifically what I asked for is an ashy to neutral blonde foliage with darker low lights so um, those are more of the darker pieces that you see in the bottom and again I feel like it just makes everything blend together and it just looks more natural and it grows out really really well like obviously this is my natural hair color here but the low lights are more so on the bottom and it just blends really well together it also blends in with my roots over here on top so when everything grows out um, you don't see any sort of lines and then as for the cut, what I asked for this time was longer curtain bangs. So the curtain bangs basically hit at my chin, like a little bit longer than my chin. And then the shortest pieces of curtain bangs over here hit like around my mouth area-ish. So personally, I love the look of shorter curtain bangs, but um, I didn't want to get that just because I wanted to still be able to tuck everything behind my ears and put it up in a ponytail if I wanted to. So I absolutely love the length that it is at. I feel like it is perfect for me and my everyday hair needs. And then for the rest of my hair, what I got was layers and I feel like it just makes it look a lot more healthier. And then it also just makes it look bouncier if that makes sense so i also just try to get a trim every three months or so i feel like trims are so important to keeping the health of your hair and yeah that is pretty much all about like the color and cut of my hair i really really love it and i feel like it's like a perfect length too it falls right here okay so next i'm going to show you guys how i curl my hair into this and we're just going to talk about all the products that i use so let's just get right into that Okay, so first I am just going to brush everything through and my hair is naturally pretty straight. This is what it looks like after I just showered last night, just roughly blow dried it. And if you guys are curious, this is how the curtain bangs look when my hair is straight, when I don't do anything to it. And I think it still looks pretty good. Obviously it's not styled and you can tell it's not styled, but I still think it looks pretty good. So before I put on any sort of heat, um, I am going to use this. This is just an anti-breakage daily fluid and I love this. It's kind of like a heat protectant and I will be honest, I don't put this on every single time but I really try but sometimes you just forget, you know? Okay, so the next step is focusing on the curtain bangs first. So I like to do this before I curl any part of my hair and I just kind of separate it. So next to the curtain bangs, what I'm gonna do is give the roots a little volume and have that like sweeped back 
lust before I curl anything and for this I have two tools that I like to use um, a straightener is probably the easiest thing you guys all probably have a straightener and with the straightener what I would do is just have it pulled back like this this isn't on right now but um, I would just pull it back like this and kind of curl it like that which works perfectly as well but because I recently got this tool I've been loving to use this instead I like it just gives it a little extra lift and if you don't know this is the Revlon one step hair dryer it's been highly raved about but I can totally see why I love it sometimes I just use it to give myself that kind of blowout kind of look so I am going to use it on my bangs and show you guys what it looks like so what I'm going to do is use this tool and blow dry my bangs back and essentially it will be the same thing if you use a straightener the only difference is I feel like this kind of gives it more volume at the roots and then this is what it looks like afterwards and I kind of just leave it for a good few seconds and then I'm going to separate it and make it go back and as you can see it just kind of gives that swoosh that I didn't have before and I'm gonna use my texturizing hairspray and kind of just spray that back a little bit but normally if I want to leave my hair straight I would kind of just straighten the rest of my hair or go in with the one step hair dryer and kind of just give myself a blowout and if you have some clips you can clip it a little bit to have it settle in okay so I'm just like roughly clipping it and then for the rest of the hair I'm gonna separate it into two sections I'm just going to put the top half up with a scrunchie and then for my curler this is the one that I have been using um, I believe it is a one inch barrel. This is the T3 Curl ID. I love it. It is definitely the best uh, curler that I have ever owned. I usually just get really cheap ones from like Target or Marshall and those honestly work perfectly fine as well. I just find that this does hold the curl a little bit longer. So as for the curling, what I do is grab different sections. I'm not too precise on it, but generally this is how much um, hair that I grab at a time going to wrap it around my wand and then hold it for maybe about less than five seconds and I am just going to release and this is what it looks like it is kind of like a loose-ish kind of curl that's why I don't want to hold it for too long again I'm just grabbing a random section putting it around honestly you guys I don't even know if I'm using this tool correctly but this is just how I've been using it and then I kind of just hold the curl in my hand for a second and then I just let it go same thing again and everything I am just curling away from my face that's just how I like the curls to look um, I know some people alternate it but I just prefer everything away from the face and this is what this side looks like Okay, and this is what the bottom half looks like. It is just a very, very subtle and it's just more so loose waves. And I kind of just brush everything out with my fingers so that it's like even more loose. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the top section of the hair. And this is where I am going to remove these clips and as you can see there is that swoop that the curtain bangs have and we're gonna give it a little bit more swoop with the curler so with the curtain bangs this is kind of like the trickier part of curling it just because you don't want to mess up the curtain bangs and what I'm going to do is kind of just take almost all of it and then use this and curl it again away from my face then I am just going to kind of almost straighten it a little bit at the end okay and this is pretty much what it looks like I'm gonna do the other side and this is what it looks like and I'm gonna curl the rest of my hair and kind of just all comes together so for the rest of my hair um, I'm going to do basically the same thing that I did for the first section so I'm just going to wrap it around for like less than five seconds and let go
And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the hairspray. And then usually I do like to go in with this, which is the Gisu Honey Infused Hair Oil. Any sort of hair oil should be fine. I just take about like a dime size amount. So I just love the way that Gisu products smell. They smell so, so good. Um, and then I just run this through the bottom half of my hair. I also like using this on damp hair um, once I shower and blow dry. And then the last product that I'm going to use on my hair is this and this is the Whey Finishing Cream and I usually just take like a very little amount of this um, and it basically helps tame like any flyaways on top and then I kind of just use it to make my bangs go in the place that I want to but I love this a lot when I am doing like a high ponytail or doing like a sleek bun and this just really helps with like flyaways and all that. Okay, and that is basically it for how I curl my hair and I've been just kind of loving um, this sort of like bigger waves, more effortless waves, looser waves, and I really love how it looks and how it turns out. Like it usually lasts me around three days or so, two to three days, and if it does fall and become straighter, I would just kind of touch it up here and there. I'm just going to quickly talk about the shampoo and conditioner that I like to use because I did get some questions on what I use for that. Okay, so these are kind of my holy grail items. I love them so much. I always have them in my shower. They're just like the perfect everyday um, shampoo and conditioner. So they are the Living Proof um, Perfect Hair Day Shampoo and Conditioner. Love them so much. It smells great and it always gives my hair that volume it needs. And they are color safe, silicone free, sulfate free, and and that is always what I look for in my shampoo and conditioner. And a lot of you guys do ask me if I use purple shampoo to keep the blonde pieces and make sure it doesn't get brassy. And actually, I don't use any sort of purple shampoo anymore. I found that when I was using purple shampoo, it kind of gave my hair more of like a weird reddish tint sometimes. So I always just use sulfate free, uh, parabens free, and color safe shampoo. And then more recently, I started using the uh, Pantene Miracle Moisture Boost. And this is also sulfate free and color safe. It has a really, really pretty floral scent. And honestly, I love this and the Living Proof one just as much. That one I have been just using for like two, three years now. So it's always like my safe option, but I've been loving this as well. And it just smells amazing. And last but not least, I always try to do a mask once a week or once every two weeks um, and this is the Pantene Miracle Moisture Boost and it just smells so good and a little of this goes such a long way mainly put it on like the bottom half of my hair but sometimes I kind of just put it all over and use it as like a 10-15 minute mask I feel like because of this I've been getting a lot less split ends and it's just so good and it really helps take care of my hair alright guys so that is the end of this video I kind of just talked about all the points that I could think of about my hair but if you have any other questions feel free to DM me on Instagram feel free to leave it in the comments down below my hair has just been such a journey and I'm really really happy with the health of it now the color of it the cut and the curtain bangs and everything and I'm just very very happy with my hair so if you have any other questions or if you have any other tips for me or anybody else that wants to take care of their hair better um, leave it down below in the comments and we can all just share and give each other advice and I hope you guys found this video helpful as always thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys